This is the plaintiff, Katrina Blanton. She says her neighbor tore down 40 feet of her wooden privacy fence and replaced it with a see-through chain link fence so she could spy on her. That's right, that jealous woman's upset she's dating and lives with her ex-boyfriend, and she wants to spy on them. This woman needs to get on with her life. She needs to leave her and her ex-boyfriend alone, and she needs to pay her the $2,680 she's owed to replace the fence. This is the defendant, Lisa Jordan. She says she has a survey to prove the fence she erected is indeed on her property. And if anyone needs to get a life, it's the plaintiff and her ex-boyfriend. She has every right to construct a fence of her choosing. She decided on a chain link fence and she certainly doesn't owe the plaintiff money. So she can put up a wooden one. She's accused of spying on an ex. All parties, please use your hand. Would you see it? Come to order, please. <clears throat> Litigants have been sworn, Your Honor. Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome, ma'am. Katrina Blanton. Yes, ma'am. You are suing your neighbor, Lisa Jordan. Yes. For $2,680 because she ripped out your fence. Um, and you think she did that because, oh, you, you can stand up front and center, honey. <laughs> Because you, are you dating him? Yes. And he used to live with you? Yes, ma'am. And how long did he live with you? From July 2017 until March 2018. So how did the breakup happen? How did you? Um, I called the police um, after he assaulted me. How did he assault you? He was moving things in my house. He hit me in my left eye. Um, he punched you? Yes, ma'am. Well, okay. slapped me in my left eye, and when um, the police arrived, we waited a while for the police to arrive, and when they did, before they did, he cut his own arm and told me that he was gonna tell the police when they arrived that I did, did that Did the police arrest anybody? No. Did you get a restraining order? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um, did you expect him to move in with the lady next door? I did not. So now, how is it that the fellow living with your neighbor ends up being your boy, is there an age difference here? Yes. What's the age difference? 25. 25 years. Um, and how does he end up living with you? He had come to my gate one time asking me if there was any work that he could do for me where he could make some money. And I said, well, yes, there's some things that you could do for me. And I hired him to do some work. What kind of work? He cut down a tree. Oh, I got it. He mowed the grass. All right. You know, just anything I needed doing, he would do. And then how did the romance happen? Well, I mean, just, you know, we were just good friends. So, so how did the romance start? The romance started after he had moved into my camper. I let him rent my camper, and he lived there for a while, and he just... Is he living in the camper now, or is he living in the house? He's in the house. He has his own room in the house. Okay, and how long has he been there? A um, year. A year? A year. Yes, All right. Do you see other people? No. Does he see other people? No. Okay. Well, according to you, he does, right? Yes, ma'am. Who's he seeing? Uh, well, he saw me um, until I found out about her, which was August 2018. Um, how did you find, when you say until you found out about her, you knew he was living there? Yes, ma'am. But you didn't think it was romantic? No, ma'am. Why would I? So I take it you're not particularly close to your neighbor. No, I don't know You her. didn't know the, the living situation? No. All right, now at some point, which is what brings us to the lawsuit, she rips down the fence? Yes. Tell me about that. I was gone on my job. What, what do you do for a living? I'm an over-the-road truck driver for the post office. OK. And I go out for a whole week at a time. And when I got back Friday morning, my fence was removed. Is it completely ripped down or is there another fence in its place? There's a chain link, a four foot chain link in place of a six foot. What are you whispering for her to say? I'm in the middle show of the cross exam. He's telling me to show you the pictures. Okay. Um, so the fence that had been there was what kind of fence? Wooden. Privacy. Wooden privacy. Do you have a picture of how it used to look? Yes. Well, okay. 
The pictures are numbered. The pictures I have do not show how it used to look. The pictures I have is a picture of a chain link fence there. That's my picture, Your Honor. Okay. So is is that the wood fence that I see there, is that how all of it was? Um, yes. Well, I need you to stop talking. No question is pending for you. Is this how all of it was? I, yes. So that was the part that she cut down. Okay. So now let's get clear for a moment how the property works here. All right. So in this picture, everybody try to locate yourselves in your head, okay? This here is lot 10. This belongs to you, yes. right? All right. This is this whole thing your house? Yes. Your property? Yes. Okay. And then am I right that this whole thing is your property? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So you're like a little L around her. Yes, ma'am. Okay. And the part that's in question, if I can show you, is not what you have highlighted there. Th that part was never replaced. That still remains. Come on over here. You show me where the fence is that you ripped down. Right here. This is the portion that she's talking about. Okay, so only this part was removed. Here and here and here. Okay. It was all wooden and it was all removed. Okay. So, if this is the property line, the only thing you replaced that effect, that has anything to do with the property line was here. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now I'm going to ask you to go ahead and go back. I'm going to ask you to come forward. What is your testimony about what she replaced? The same as she says okay. right here. Okay. Go ahead and go back. So now. One fine day, you decide that you're going to replace that. Why? My mother came to live with me, and she's actually the one who paid for the replacement. She has two small dogs. The fence is more than 20 years old, covered in mold and rotten. It was tied together by zip ties on her side of the fence um, and falling over into the yard. Okay. Now, your property's a whole L, the whole L, right? Yes, Yes, ma'am. All right. So what is on, the, on the, the part she didn't replace, this part that goes this way horizontally, all that was what? Chain link? Chain link. All right. You had complained in your complaint that she ripped down that wooden fence so she could see what was going on on your property. Yes. Can't she just go to where the chain link is and see what's going on on your property? She can see if anything's going on back there, but that's the back of the house. That's there. the back of the house, but so what? What is she, what, what extra vision did she get by replacing that little piece that she couldn't have gotten by walking four feet? Don's exercise equipment is there. She gets a good view of his exercise equipment. I don't get it. I, I, don't, I, I don't get any of you. It's harassment. Yeah, but the question is, who's harassing who? I'm not even in the yard, Your Honor. It's only my grandchildren that are back there. I don't. Okay, sweetheart, but <clears throat> don't get indignant, because I've read your texts, OK? OK. See, he has submitted into evidence all the crazy stuff that you write that is just this constant back and forth and back and forth, and you're just what is wrong with you? Why would you want to make somebody crazy? It's like she'll send you 10 nutty, long, ranting things. If you just shut up, I don't know what you're smiling at. You're a miserable human being. Why would you then, you if you know that you're dealing with somebody who clearly has feelings for you still, why would you then just give her enough to keep her on the hook? Let's see some examples, shall we? Listen, Donald Johnson, I have come to terms with the fact that you're a monster who hurts people who are trying to help him. You're a liar who lies to people who are honest to him. You're a betrayer of people who put their loyalty into you. I've accepted all this and I have no desire to look at the ugly eyesore you live in. How can I live in peace with you back there? I've lived here for 20 years. I've never had a problem with my neighbor. Right. Because he... To which he responds, you ain't blank, devil. Mm -hmm. Why would you even respond? Just leave me alone. Please, please just go. That's me to him, is that No, correct? it's you to him like six or eight times because you don't get a response. This is on New, on New Year's Day. Mm -hmm. okay. You mentioned a dead cat. She thinks you guys poisoned her cat. What makes you think I that I think she... specifically that he did. Did you correct. poison her cat? Ma'am, no, ma'am. I took care of her cat more than she took care of her cat. 
Let's talk about the fence that you ripped down. The question becomes, is it her fence or is it your fence? Right. So according to you, that fence was on your property. Can yes. you show me what proof you have that that fence was on your property? But that's the survey. Yeah, except for that that survey is dated what? March. Uh, I had it done in March. After the fence got ripped down, right? Yes. Right. Now, can, I, can you show me the actual survey? Because everything I have is very tiny. It's, thank you. So now what I want to see is your survey, because you actually found a survey from beforehand, right? Yes, ma'am. OK, let me see that. OK, this I says it that done, it was done on May 13th of 2008. I commissioned the survey for work that I was having done on my property. So the wood fence, who has wood fence and who has chain link? Did you have wood fence? Around my entire property. And you had chain link other than this wood fence? Chain link other than the wood fence that went okay, down Okay, I'm not sure where you get that that wood fence was on your property. It looks to me to have been on the property line, which is always a bad idea. But it looks to me to have been on the property line um, in both surveys. Um, because we're not looking at, we've established that the only part we're looking at is this part here. This is, who lives here? A neighbor. Shamika, a neighbor. Another, another neighbor. Yes. And this is still wood? Yes. So you made this chain link, and she thinks it's so you can see him working out because he's just all that. Yes, ma'am. Right. And is, uh, is that why you did it? No, ma'am. Because it kind of sounds like why you did it, reading all this stuff. No, it isn't. Yeah. Um, but for you to be able to collect from her, you'd, you'd have to prove that it was your fence. Not only is it not, it doesn't sound like it's your fence because it's wood and none of your other fence, any other portion is wood, but you'd also have to be able to prove that that portion that she brought down or the portion that she put up is somehow on your property, neither of which I think you're saying. It's on the property line and it didn't belong to you. I don't think it was your fence. Uh, but either way, it, it was on the property line. She didn't, she didn't rip it off of inside your property. Um, Am I misreading the surveys? Do you yes. have a survey where it shows that that part of the fence was on your property? Yes. Welcome back to the People's Court. Harvey Levin here. Are you allowed to rip down a common fence, install a brand new chain link fence without consulting your neighbor? No, definitely not. Why? Because uh, you're sharing the fence and you should uh, talk to your neighbor and uh, get it resolved that way. What if it's clearly, what if you consider it clearly an upgrade because it's a new fence? If it's an upgrade, it's new fences on my property, I'm put up what I want. Well, but it's common fence, so you can't necessarily do what you want. You have to do what both of you want. I would still have to talk to my neighbor first. You have to talk to your neighbor. Get well, we'll find out. Go inside the courtroom. That little corner, if you see the little corner there to the left. Come on up, and we're going to blow this up. This is her property line right here. Mm -hmm. This is my property line right here. OK. So you're saying this little corner of chain link fence is on your property. Yes. Now, your but survey, just pictures. a moment, just a moment. Okay. Now, your survey from 2008. Kind of shows that very tiny portion of a few feet <clears throat> also on her property. So, what do you propose as a solution? What is it? Go ahead and go back there. Um, what is it that you propose as a solution to this? Your Honor, uh, I want my privacy fence back. I would like another privacy fence. Oh, I don't even think that was your fence to begin with. For you to collect against her, you have to be able to show me that that was yours. And I'm trying to figure out how you're going to show that. Well, one way to show it is, hey, Judge, it was on my property, so it's got to have been mine. Neither of the surveys show that that fence was on your property, OK? One of the surveys, however, does show that the chain link fence that she put in is a little bit on your property. But you've got a problem. Put your hand down, because okay. I'm in the middle of talking. You've got a problem, which is that you, I do know from this survey, put part of your chain link fence on that property. And you don't have a right to do that. So okay. you're going to have to move that part, because she doesn't like it. So you're going to have to pay somebody to move that. You don't get to have a privacy fence erected unless you're able to prove to me by a preponderance of the evidence that you owned it. And I don't know that I can see that based on what I'm, I'm seeing. 
um, if you want privacy, go to Home Depot and buy one of those, you know, rattan things and stick it on your side, and then she can't, voila, she can't see Adonis working out with his <laughs> stuff. I mean, I don't know. You know, it's, um, I just can't imagine what it would be like to be you folks. It's insanity that this be going on. Uh, you don't get lost wages. You certainly don't get the cost of the survey. That's, that's, but, but the cost of the survey was worth every penny because you are going to have to remove the part of the fence that is offending her that is on her property. All right. Uh, mm. Based on my experience with these types of cases, I'm going to order you to pay the plaintiff not the sum she's asking for, but the sum of $500, and I'm going to let you go ahead and um, hire somebody to move that portion of the fence so that it's no longer offending you, those many feet that are on your side, OK? Because otherwise, then I have to give her permission to trespass onto your property, and no good can come of that. <laughs> That's how I see it. That's my verdict. Good luck, folks. So after examining all the evidence, the judge has decided that she gets $500 yes. to move a little bit. A small, how many feet? Three, four feet? Not even. Yeah, That's to correct it. Mm -hmm. The bottom line is, after all of this, what do you think is going to happen now? I mean, are you, I'm, you? I am moving. My mother's purchased a new home, and I will be moving. Um, I do not have a desire to see Don. I don't turn down that street to avoid him. Any time that he comes in the yard, I pull my family inside. Well, I'm sorry you, <laughs> this is Blown out of proportion here. Yes. Thank you very much. You must Thank sign you. a few documents and you're moving. All right, Ms. Blanton. She's going to be moving. Is I'm that good so news? Glad. <laughs> I'm not surprised you say that. But you're going to get money to move that fence just a little bit. Do you think it's going to make a big difference? No. Okay. Can I ask you a question? Sir, yes, sir. I think anybody watching this would want me to ask you this. Explain the attraction between you and this lady, a 25-year difference. People, Can you? People judge by what they see, not for who we are. And it doesn't matter how old a person is, as long as they love them or care about them for who they really are. Uh, I dealt with Lisa, and she's very chaotic, very crazy. And unfortunately, I'm just exhausted mentally with relationships like that. And she brought me in humbly, calmed me down. So of course, people want to judge, but I, it's bigger than me. So I'm just going to care about who, I care, who cares about me. Keep it simple. And you're happy. I'm happy. If she's happy, and, and I'm you're happy. happy. Oh, we're very Our happy. Life is happy. And you're still a truck driver. I'm still a truck driver. Okay. Well, congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you, dear. Very good. Doug, if it is a common fence right on the property line, you have equal rights. One can't do anything without the other, and you have a duty, equal duty, to maintain it. And that will do it for this case, litigants, for the next case on the way into the courtroom right now.